Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500 and welcome to a very quick video. This video is only about connection problems with multi-ECU scan. If you're new to multi-ECU scan, you've bought yourself an Elm connector, you've downloaded the software and paid for the software and you're trying to connect to your car and you're coming up with connection errors. This is more likely what your problem is. Let me show you on the screen and we'll see if we can help you out and get you connected to the car so you can do your diagnostics. Let's go. Okay, so once you are in the main window, um, I don't think it really matters whether you've got a car selected or not. In this case, we've got a five, Fiat 500 1.28 valve selected. Down the bottom here, uh, you can either hit F9 or you've got the settings. Right, so when you click on that settings, you will come across uh, this little box here. It will default to general, and you don't need to worry about anything on there. All you gotta do is click on interfaces. Now you will see at the top there, you've got interface type, which is Elm 327, 1.3, 1.4, 1.4B, and 2.1. That may slightly vary depending on what Elm 327 adapter you've got, but that is your Elm adapter. So you may find other things in there. So you can see lots of other things in there. There is another Elm 327 on there, which is a Bluetooth one. Um, if you've got a Bluetooth one, multi-ECU scan do not support Bluetooth anymore, I believe, uh, and they don't support the OS. Uh, they only support the one, the USB one, via Windows. But you need to connect, you need to, there's lots of other things there. There's an L327 OBD Wi-Fi, all sorts of things. So in my instance, I'm using a wired one, and it's the Elm 327, that one there. So make sure you've, co you've connected to the right one. You also need to make sure you are connected to a USB port. Um, if you're not connected to that USB port and it's not working, try a different USB port because there are others on there as well. well. In this instance, it only shows me the one. Whether that's because that's the one it knows it's already plugged into because I've already put interface type so it's automatically found it, I don't know. But that could well be the, um, the, the thing. So it says there, select the serial port where your interface is connected so it knows automatically. Now the, the other thing that often changes is the speed. 38,400, especially if you're getting speed errors, it should be set to 38,400. Don't set it to anything else. Nothing higher, nothing lower. That's all you need to set it to. And that should sort you out. That should be all you need to do. So click OK. Potentially you could quit the software and try again, but obviously make sure your ignition is on. It's off at the moment. Make sure your ignition is on. Engine doesn't need to be started, but you're plugged into your OBD port down there. With your elm let me show you my elm this is this elm you don't need anything spectacular this is a cheap elm from ebay i diagnostics elm it was i can't remember what it was i've had it years i've been using the same one for years cheap and cheerful but that is a, a modified one not converted did i say converted before it should be modified but that's what that is so make sure you get a modified one and you should be cooking on gas it should work any other problems give us a shout um your settings is the one that's probably going to cause you issues. So I told you it was going to be a short video, but hopefully that has um, explained what the problem is if you're having problems connecting to. And if you are connect, if you're having problems connecting to, that's probably why you're here. So give it a try. Come back to me. Let me know if it sorted it for you or if you found anything else, because it's always good to update videos um, if anything else is found. But that's normally what's going to cause the problem. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped. Until the next time, as always, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up, especially if this worked for you. But please let me know. So until the next one, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.